Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Hermitcraft. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, so a lot of fun stuff has been happening on the Hermitcraft server this week, and there's still quite a few things I want to try to get done for this episode, so yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit of a longer one. I think this episode, we probably won't get a whole lot of building done on this place, unfortunately, but we'll try to do a couple things at, at the very least. My attention is uh, pulled away from here uh, this week. Uh, first off, let's just try to get the floor down. Get a feel for what that's going to be like. And I think we want to try figure out what we're doing for our storage room, where that's going to go. Just looking at this, though, I got to say, we don't have a lot of space available. Like, it's it's not a big interior. So I'm thinking almost we need to go down, make a basement for our storage room. I don't like doing exteriors first because my interiors end up being very sloppy when I do that. But we'll, we'll do our best here, see what we can make happen. So usually... If I do exterior first, then I figure out how much usable space I actually have inside of here. So this is all all kind of consumed over here, right? So we'll put a post here in the corners. And then we're going to just fill it in with moss blocks and we'll figure out later what color we actually want to use for inside. But this is just like a placeholder. And there we go. So we got our walls all cleaned up here, straightened out. And now we have a better sense of how much space we have to work with when we do the interior. And uh, yeah, it's still a pretty good amount, right? So we double thicken the walls so we can change them whatever color we want on the inside because we don't really want the outside of our build to look the exact same as our inside. We, we don't want to use the pink terracotta in here, I don't think. So usually with houses, I think they put stairs by the entrance and exits, right? So we did the same thing here. Right by the door here, we have a switchback staircase and it goes down to the other door out here. You're not supposed to be here. Okay, I changed something with this guy, and it's not working out too well. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, man, that guy's been giving me a little bit of a hard time here, everybody. I did my very first farm project that uses a laze the other day, and I'm still trying to figure out how they work. He's supposed to stay down there, but every once in a while, he wants to come see me. <laughs> uh, it was working great for a few days, and then I tried to compact things a bit more today, and now he's, uh, he's not staying down here all the time. Uh, yeah, let's talk about this though. So I've been trying to develop this bay area outside of our house so that uh, it doesn't go to waste. Um, I did a project with Jem the other day to connect this bay up to her base and like the ocean area next to Grian. TNT usually blows up one or two blocks above the two by one hole you dig. So where do we want the two by one hole? Maybe at the water level how much down will it go because we want we can control that but up is is like one or two blocks always can't control up so maybe maybe we do do it on this level okay so that'll get rid of so like up to the dirt here maybe height, you know yeah, yeah. yeah i feel like that'd be good have we checked this does this go through tango stuff at all who knows honestly. I'll, I'll dig bottom you dig top all right teamwork all right it's dark i gotta see Oh, sorry. Ow. I accidentally clicked. Oh, I accidentally Ow. clicked the wrong. <laughs> no, you keep walking in front of Jim. <laughs> Careful. Whoa. Gotta chase it, Jim. Chase it. This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Hey, was... This is actually pretty watery. This. Might not actually be any work for us. Yeah, like it's all dug all the way up to here, right? God, there's no hay speaking. I'm dying. <laughs> you poor thing. Who lives like this? I've been uh, doing my whole area, like not even efficiency, just just like digging, oh. enjoying it. I I can do it for a couple minutes, but anything longer than like ten, I'm I'm done. Oh, you're so spoiled. Jam, I played old Minecraft, okay? I've done you don't know how many holes I've dug with stone tools back in <laughs> right, the right, day. Right. All right, I've all done right. my time, okay? I don't you need to keep it. reliving that over and over. I feel like with some decor and like columns yeah, or something. It'll, it'll close it'll it'll it up, right? Fine. The decor cool. will fix it. Good job, Etho. Good job, Jam. Yeah, so just past Jem's area here is Green and then the ocean. And then you got Impulse over there, you got Skizzle Man over there, Tango up on the hill there. And after we got that tunnel all finished up, Jem flooded this area. So now we can uh, take our boat across and go through the tunnel. We still want to decorate this, but that's probably, it's a low priority thing, right? But it'll hopefully happen eventually. 
Um, and as we were going through here, we found this giant, humongous cave <laughs> that was flooded already. Like, this was all flooded beforehand, so we didn't really have to do much with this. And then there's this, this other little short stretch uh, up to our place. So then I also had an idea for a squid farm that I was pretty excited to try out here using guardians and allays. And I told Cub about it. He also really liked the idea. So he wanted to build one at his place back there. And uh, we worked on the project together. So we each got one and uh, it went uh, <laughs> a little a little dicey. You know, nothing really went our way. But at uh, the end of things here, I think we figured out something pretty cool. Ito, you came to me a few days back with an idea for this ink farm. You can kill squid with axolotls, but as you probably True. know, the drowns will eventually spawn and kill them as well. But yeah, that's that's an issue. That's an issue. What if we got some guardians? Ooh, guardians, I like the way you're thinking. They got their lasers, they're real cool and everything, and then we just stick one in the lake, one for me, one for you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you also had the idea, like, I got some alleys. Yes. We could potentially use the alleys to get the ink and basically recover it for us from the lake. Oh, that guy's got to be on the surf. Here, I'll try. Oh, no, oh, you got me. I got you. Yep. Go in the boat. Oh, he does not go in the boat. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, wait, one's in. One's in. One's in. One's you in. got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in there. Nice. There's one in the minecart. Yep. He's yep. taking damage on the block. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come. Milk bucket. Milk bucket. Milk bucket. Yeah, I got it. Oh, my audio cut out because I'm getting attacked so much. Yeah, same, same. Whoa, that's scary. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking him out. Taking him out. All right, I got, I got this guy taken out. Holy smokes, my health. Retreat, I just retreat. Hope not to drown. Who needs a guardian farm when they're all around you like this? Really? Yeah, no, I'm Okay, I got him out. Okay, right. right, this is it. Get in there. Get hey, oh, in! Oh, snap! It, it worked? Yep. All right, he's in? He's in. He's in. Oh my goodness. That was so hard, Cop. That was, that was rough. <laughs> but we got it to work. That's one. Yep. He's not attacking me in the boat. So that's that's a plus. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what, that's, that's. I think I'm too close to him. Oh, oh, it's a lot harder than F5. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Too close, too close. He's, he's targeting. Okay. He's fine. Tunnel's coming in handy already. It is, yeah, very handy. Alright, so then I, I break the dirt, and the water should flow and move the boat. Oh. The LA like doesn't him. like that very much, but we don't care oh. about him too much. Oh no, he's submerged! No, oh, premature oh, LA... submersion! LA's free. Oh, he's out though, yeah. Yep. Wait, the LA got out of the boat? The LA is out of the boat, yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, what I'm happened to the... LA. Oh, the other guy's gone. Yeah, so the thing that gave us the most trouble with this was trying to figure out how do you get a Guardian to go into a boat? Because they really don't want to go into a boat. Uh, eventually, Cub figured out something kind of cool, where if you put, like, soul sand underneath them, you can kind of get them stuck in a bubble column. And they do this uh, bouncy thing where they get sort of stun locked. And then you can kind of ram them sometimes. He's at the surface, maybe, uh, maybe there. There we go. Yeah, if you just put it on him when he's at the surface, that works too. Anyways, let's talk about how this farm actually works. So we got our guardian friend. He's going around the water patrolling, looking for any squid to kill. He lasers them. And then those uh, ink sacks will eventually float up to the surface of the water where we have our... LA guy, he's going around patrolling around this note block. And whenever he finds some ink sacks, he'll go pick them up. They do take a while to float up, like after they get uh, killed in the water. You see how far down they sometimes sink. But eventually they'll get to the top. Until then, the guy just kind of hovers in the area waiting for them. He won't go into the water. Uh, but then when he gets the ink sacks, he'll deliver them to the note block. This is constantly getting pulsed by a calibrated skulk sensor underneath. We got that waterlogged. And I think this is why he sometimes uh, will come to me. If he's away from that note block for 30 seconds, I think he can lose it. And maybe when he's trying to get out of the water like that, it messes him up. Anyways, he delivers it to the note block there. You can see sometimes he throws it on top of the note block. 
He's kind of playing basketball here. He tries to throw it into the hoops. Sometimes he gets into the hoppers here. <laughs> if it does, it gets deposited into our barrels and we got our ink. And it's actually doing pretty good. Like, we're it's not a bad farm. Nothing crazy, though. Like, I could get more guardians in the water and it would be much faster. But I'm also not needing that much squ squid ink that I need to cause more lag or anything like that. So this is probably fine for now. I put the... This is a player head on top of the note box, so... It doesn't constantly make the note block sound, otherwise you gotta hear this all the time. <laughs> so it just silences it, which is nice. With this squid farm, I had two main design goals I was trying to follow with it. The first one was I didn't want to mess up the look of this area, both on the land and the water, because I'm sharing the area with uh, Tango and Pearl and, and Cub as well. I didn't want to make like a bunch of holes through the water for the squid to fall down or anything like that. It had to be kind of hidden, whatever I did. And for the most part, I think we achieved that. I did have to put up some chain fences here under the water. The guardian can't swim through these. He's too fat. <laughs> oh, no, boy. Where'd you come from? And tridents. No trident. Okay. Um, yeah, he can't get through these, so it works as a pretty good wall. It also looks kind of cool when you're underwater. It's like a, a dangerous area or something, you know? It kind of signifies that. So that worked out pretty good. The other main thing, though, is I wanted to make sure we could boat over top of whatever we did if we put up a wall for the Guardian. And I just assumed this worked. I tried it today, and it's like, oh. <laughs> you, can't, uh, you can't boat across it. The whole point of that tunnel I made with Jim was a boat passage, right? Um, and now I've blocked it off with the chains, unfortunately. So we're going to have to change this up. I had an idea to maybe try fences. Um, so if we put it at this level, you'll see the fence, right? But a fence is a block and a half tall, so maybe if we put them all along the second level down, I'm hoping the Guardian won't be able to swim through that. Because he'll only have half a block where he can here, which I think he would be able to if he if he hit it just right. So the other option is we might then put some trap doors above the blue ones. So we can take out the chains, right? Take out the chains, put trap doors above. So there's really only a half a block space for him to fit through here. And I believe the boat will go through that. Unfortunately, you can see the trap doors though, which isn't ideal. Oh, it can't go through that. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Hmm. What about without the trap doors? Oh, it's the trap doors doing it. Okay. So I think for now we'll try out the fence. We'll see if that keeps the guardian inside or if, he, if he'll swim over top of this. Because again, it's a block and a half tall, right? I also want to try out the walls to see which one is less noticeable. Look at that. I think the deep slate walls are actually less noticeable. Oh, I got to get my uh, I gotta get my protection on. Oh, I took it off. Oh, I'm going to die. No. Oh! <laughs> Look at this mess. It just gets worse every episode, doesn't it? <laughs> Trust me, though, the shulkers have been helping. Like, if I didn't have the shulkers... Oh, boy. Like, these are full. Full shulkers. There's so many of them all, all over the place. Yeah, so they're helping. We just need more space now. We're at that point where we need a storage room. We don't really have time to do it this episode, but I'm doing it regardless. Uh, just something real quick here to get us going. So... I was thinking about this room. Should we put the storage room down here? Kind of marked out some some space we might need. And it's like, no, there's just not enough space. So I decided let's go down. Underneath the staircase, I think we'll have some bubble columns and a way up and down here. And then look at this. We got it prepped already. Aha, yeah. So we've been doing this whole shulker refilling system ever since uh, season seven of Hermitcraft. I also do it in my single player. So I've talked about this many times at this point. I probably don't need to go into too much detail. But the idea is I keep like 16 shulker boxes in my ender chest at all times. These have like every single item in the game nicely organized for me. And then we want to have some way of automatically refilling these. So I don't have to manually search out like where's my slime, where's my target blocks and go through all my chest finding stuff. We just want it to kind of happen for us. So we keep a shulker box in the station here. And then whenever we need a refill, we just swap it out with one in our ender chest, pop it in there, and we get a brand new one. 
and it doesn't take any time whatsoever and it's amazing and I love it <laughs> and I'm going to keep doing it until uh, anything better comes along in the game which uh, it's been a few years at this point where I think this is still my favorite thing. So this is uh, this is very simple to set up as well. All it is is like a 3x3 three three thing here. You put the chests over top the hoppers in this arrangement is what I like to do. And usually up above I'll mark like this is the redstone shulker box so I can easily identify it without having to look through the chests. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all there is to it. That's one station done. You do that for all 16 of them. And uh, these five hoppers allow you to automatically refill 25 items into the redstone kit box here. And basically you keep five different items in each of the chests. Usually I give each item nine rows in the, the double chest. And then you have one bonus one at, for any extra stuff you want to throw in. And there we go. We got it all set up. It only took me a few minutes. The, the challenging thing is getting the items inside, of course, especially if you don't know how you're organizing it, which this season I know how I'm organizing it. So it's going to go much smoother. <laughs> I want to talk about a couple little tricks here, just in case you don't know them, that can really save a bunch of time. If you ever need to copy a shulker box, don't like try to figure out like, oh, the stone goes here. Um, there's my chiseled stones. All I do is empty out my hot bar, press Q, 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 goes into my hot bar in the exact same order. I do nine at a time. And now I've got it from left to right. Just put them in. If you don't have all the items, like it works best once you have everything filled up in here, all the items in the game, <laughs> but likely you're not going to have everything in the game, right? So what I do until then, like as a brand new season of Permacraft here, I don't have much stuff. So I just start off with filler items in the hoppers, right? Until I actually get stuff to put in here. It's not really worth adding anything until you have at least three stacks, I would say, or more. Um, so for example, I got plenty of cobblestone here. I can easily add that to our system. And then what we do is you figure out where it's gonna go, uh, throw it in there, and then you take out one of the filler items. And now cobblestone has been added to the system and you can see it automatically refilling. All right, everybody, so that's the main piece of our storage system figured out. It solves most of our problems, but not quite all of our problems. No, no, no. <laughs> what do I do when I wanna just drop off a shulker box at our place and have it get automatically sorted so I don't have to think about anything? Well, this system doesn't really do this. This is more for item retrieval. We're gonna need something else, right? And, you know, you gotta keep in mind Hermitcraft Usually these seasons last one to two years. So I don't want anything too crazy. I don't want like thousands of hoppers in something. So I was thinking maybe we got to look into multi-item storage. So I was looking into that. I was trying to design my own. And as I was doing that, just the other night, I came up with something so simple. <laughs> it's almost like a multi-item storage system. Very compact. It doesn't even require redstone. We got to have something for taking the, the big items out of our shulker boxes like the cobblestone, the sand, netherrack. We take out those big items and then we're going to get left with all the little scribbly scraps. You know, you got, you got your seven name tags, your two beetroot seeds, four oak stairs, <laughs> all that stuff I don't want to think about. I want it to go into storage somewhere automatically. So that's what this is for. This is like the last step of our storage process. And this is the pattern to it. It's very, very simple. All we got to do is like two hoppers per double chest. So one goes to the left, then the next one goes to the right, next one goes to the left, next one goes to the right, and then on the next column, we can make these columns as tall as we want. I'm just going for four because it's nice and easy to reach that way. Oh, I missed that one. Same thing. So it's a three wide repeating pattern here, basically. And we just do that again. And then in between the hoppers, we put some fence gates so right here and then right here and then right there that gives us this big wall of hoppers and fence gates the idea with the fence gates is we're going to use them to hold the water in place that we're about to add so we're going to be sending a hopper minecart or several hopper minecarts through the system at a time and the idea is they're going to enter from the left here going this way and then it'll fall down go to the left this way and then fall down go this way and this way so we got to add the zigzag water streams here so you gotta imagine we're gonna put glass in front of this as well so that it'll flow to the right and then the next one will flow to the left and then the next one will flow to the right and we just keep that pattern going uh, until the bottom 
I guess I can probably put the glass on already, actually. No reason not to. Um, so as we go, we'll put the glass. I've never, like, built this. I haven't tested it, really. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I like to do, like, a little experimental storage room every season of Minecraft, and this is my fun little thing for this season. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna work out, if it's good or not, you know, that kind of stuff. But I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Okay, so then when we get to the bottom here, we need to run the hopper minecart minecart under this hopper still. So we we do it around the bend here. And then we're gonna set up a water column and then it's gonna get started back at the top there and zigzag its way down on the next column is the goal. So we will add water here. Power rail will hold it in place like that. And then the bubble column will be over here. Okay, so we got our bubble columns built up here and our goal is to connect this bubble column up to uh, that water stream. We want the minecart to go over there. So to do that, we want to go down here, I think, one block. And then when we put water here, it'll flow to the right and flow down. And then we can connect it to a power rail. Need a block here. Power rail will hold that water in place. So this goes three blocks long. Then I think we need a solid block here. And I think it's very important we have the ramp in the rail, but we can break it afterwards and put down a lever like that. So when the minecart comes up here, it should hop on the rail and then go into the next water stream all the way, hopefully. All right, and then we just got to make the solid water. So we'll, we'll plant a kelp, bone meal it to the top. And there we go, it's all done. Very good, well that's most of our setup all finished up here, so there's not a lot to this. Um, we will have to add some controls for managing the hopper minecarts and like recycling them. Uh, figuring out how many items they can pick up and stuff, because I think we can only move like 15 to 20 items per hopper minecart at a time. We can send more, like dozens of them, into this thing, but uh, they can only drop it off in the hoppers so quickly as they're passing by. It is kind of the limiter here. But yeah, we, basically we... Give it some items to sort, it'll go over top the hoppers, zigzag its way down, and we have to establish like how we want the items to be sorted in these chests. So I'll probably take our shulker boxes here, our 16 shulker boxes, and fit those into eight of these chests. So again, we just do that copy thing where we queue it out. Oh, I gotta be standing at it too. And just do this. Right, and then we assign the, those filters into the chests. These chests have to be full is the only rule here. Don't ha we don't want to have any slots free. Uh, but we can put like multiple stacks of the same item in if we want. If we want to get like nine stacks of uh, seeds for some reason, we can do that. Um, but when it comes time to emptying these, we'll have to do it manually. It's like a semi-automatic system, like it'll sort it. But once the stack is full of something, then we'll have to take it out and put it into like the system over here or somewhere else, right? Otherwise, it's going to end up into the overflow chest at the end, which we can then use to figure out like what is full as well. But yeah, the trick to this, the reason this works, is the hopper minecart runs over top of these hoppers and then it drains the contents out of the hopper minecart. Those items try to get placed into this double chest. If there's any matching items it goes inside if there isn't they just stay in the hopper right and then when the minecart passes below it pulls them out of that hopper down to the next thing here and starts putting it into this chest or trying to and if they don't go into there they just keep going down and down throughout the whole system but uh, yeah that's great we got two storage things set up now which will take us a little time to get organized it'll keep me busy um i can get rid of the stuff now on my lawn <laughs> uh -huh. Um, anyways, let's go check out some other stuff that's been going on on the server here. We got ourselves an XP farm, everybody. We finally got that dual cave spider spawner hooked up here. I got a light switch on it so we can turn it on and off, which is nice. It's very rough. It's very ugly, but I'll, I'll make this nicer later. But we just got to get something to repair our tools and stuff, and we finally have it at our base here. So, pretty cool. Uh, ever since they changed the the mobs, like where how far they can reach and that kind of stuff, look at this. You can walk right up to them. They don't hit you anymore. Before they were able to. That's kind of cool. But if you go on the honey, it's a little bit lower, uh, then they can get you. Uh -huh. So it makes sense, right? I think that's pretty cool. So we got a hopper underneath where I'm killing them here. So that picks up the drops. 
XP flows through the fence gates. These guys can't get out. And we just have like a honey bubble column thing bringing them up. Oh, you saw him go up there. But uh, anyways, the big thing that happened on Hermitcraft this week was the whole hermit permit thing. If you haven't seen it, basically, we're doing our shopping a little different this season. Everyone got assigned six random shop permits, and that gives you the rights to sell those items and make a shop in the shopping district, and you have to keep it stocked, otherwise you might lose your shop and stuff. So I guess let's check out what six hermit permits I got in the random drawing. What are the shops I'll be making this season? So, Etho, you're up next. Oh, oh my turn. Oh. All right, here we go. Barely any left, Etho. Barely any left. I, I think all the me. wool and the, t the glasses are gone now, right? Lucky. Uh, I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> 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 oh, this is a good one. Spore Blossom. Oh, that's a good oh, one. Right. Right. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Oh, magenta glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and crystal. Okay. That's a nice wow. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Spicy explosive well, one. I like that. Explosives. There you go. Yeah, you've already been providing those this season. Yeah, that's you? right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Number two. All kelp. Really? Yeah. Well, I've like never tried <laughs> kelp before. <laughs> oh, and andesite. Andesite's a good one. Andesite's good. That's that's good. good. I think that might be good. Yeah. Right. That includes the uh, polished and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All andesite. All right. Ooh. The big one. What are we hoping for? I don't know what's left anymore. Um, something good. Not tough. Wow. Anything but tough, please. <laughs> tough. 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 It, tough. still in there. <laughs> All frog lights. Oh, I, I could live nice. that. Oh, nice. nice. That is I'll good. be buying a lot. Uh, can you get working on that right away? I need them. So uh, yeah, I need them too, actually. The <laughs> shopping district is basically here. Everything south of the river. This is the new shopping district. It's open for business. Off you go. Woo -woo! Are you happy with your deals, Etho? I, I got pretty good stuff. I'm a little disappointed with my gold tiers, but my other stuff's mm. decent, except for the magenta glass. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one thing's for sure, I want to get rid of blue glass. Just get rid of it totally? Yeah. But I'll give it to you for a cut. You can have the license, but you cut me in 10% of your earnings. I'll give you 50%. <laughs> 50? Yeah, because uh, you're not going to get right. anything otherwise, right? I would be surprised yeah. if we sold any, Doc, to be honest with you. <laughs> Blue glass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm not it's expecting anything crappy. from my magenta here. I heard Doc is getting 75% of the cut, right? He wanted 10, and I, I offered him a bit more. I'm not going to tell you how much more, but I did offer him a bit more oh, than 10%. Oh, I know he's got 50. Dog. He's already spilled the beans. I'm he's sorry. He's already spilled, yeah, like... spilled the beans. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, what are you so, thinking, Corellis? I'm, I'm willing to part with this for 50% of the cat. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. P pink glass? Yep. I, I can't well, promise it... you're going to sell any, Corellis, but uh, I'll do my best. Pink glass is pink glass. Make me rich, Efo. I'll, I'll do my Where's best. Where's my horse at? Oh, there is. Thank you. The bookkeeping is going to become a nightmare soon, Efo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I can get enough of these uh, collectives together, you know, I, I might actually be able to make a successful shop. So, Efo, I've heard you're a big granite person. Um, how uh, much of the cat? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm, okay. I'm 50%. <laughs> Give it to me. I want it. I do have andesite, actually. Like, that would kind of go hand in hand. Either, stop taking all of the permit on the server. <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of like this. shop in the district, it'll be yours. I hear you are looking for glass permits. Yeah, I got three of them now. So I'm kind of uh, like I have, getting uh, a monopoly going. I have two. I have both the red and the light blue glass. Red and light blue. Light blue is a good one. 50% and the kelp. Mm, that's too much. Uh, what if I throw in all stone? Yeah, that plus uh, the glass, both glass permits in return for 50% of the glass uh -huh. and then the kelp. Yeah, I would do that, I think. Okay, then we have a deal. Uh, nice. There you go. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? So you can't just be flexing your riptide trident like oh, this. Oh, I can, and I am. Do you want to uh, make me a trident farm to make up for this? Uh-huh. See, that's what I came here <laughs> to discuss with you, actually. Really? You came here willingly to discuss that? You have one of the glass trades. 
I do. Yellow, I believe. I do. And I, I believe you don't care about it at all. That's kind of true, yep. Yep, yes, yep, yep. Oh, I'm on the right path here. Okay, this is great. <laughs> yeah, you keep going, keep going. So I'm figuring, you know, you, you let me have that yellow glass. I give you 50% uh -huh. of the profits, and I cut you in on the Trident Farm. But yeah, you see, we, we get a bunch of these drowned guys here. Yeah. And I think we uh, put down a turtle egg or something. Okay. And then they'll start chasing it. And then uh -huh. we make a little killing chamber, and, and we got and ourselves a farm. you drown because you don't have a conduit? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. there's not a lot of guys right now, but uh, if I flip a couple switches later, there'll be a lot. This is not bad. This is better rates than I'm getting in our little ocean. Yeah. Oh, God. Is that a guardian? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Reasons. Let's see if I get a trident. Oh, I got a trident. Oh my gosh, you actually got one. <laughs> Easy. That was like my fifth right. fifth or tenth one. Yeah, you know, not to exaggerate or anything. Um, all right. Okay. That does it. All yeah, yours at the low cost of 50% of your glass permit. Yeah. Alrighty, so. Thank lots you. Lots of money, please. Yep. You get 50% of the, the diamond cut. 50%. That's right. And a Trident Farm usage. And Trident Farm usage once that's set up, which will uh -huh. be somewhat soon. Wait, hold on. It better... <laughs> <laughs> I never actually specified <laughs> when, but uh, we, don't, oh, we no. don't need to worry about those details. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I got this mailbag from Pearl for working on the, the mail system and helping her out with that. And uh, it's a retextured bundle, but it's so cool. <laughs> I've been using this to store my permits. Uh-huh. Anyways, so how do we feel about the permits, everybody? I think overall I'm quite happy with that. Um, we didn't get anything super exciting, but we also didn't get anything super disappointing either, except for the glass. But uh, yeah, we've uh, we've been getting glass permits trading with people because nobody else really cares about them either. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll be able to do something cool with that. I don't know. Uh, but overall, everything else is fairly decent. Uh, I do think that was a good trade with wells we kind of traded our kelp permit with stone and you know how often do you actually build with like dried kelp or use it for furnaces i don't think we would sell very much of that and it's not like a super interesting farm either well if i go for stone you know i can make a cobblestone farm which i've never really done too much of um and it, it also includes i think the mossy stone bricks the cracked ones the chiseled ones as well as the smooth stone. And if anyone's building a mountain like B-dubs or, you know, there's quite a few builders on the server that might make a mountain. They're, they're going to need some stone. So we could get them covered there as well. Um, if you guys have any ideas for how we should do our shops, let me know as well. I want like fun, interesting shop ideas. And I'm brainstorming a few things, but yeah, I'm open for things if you got anything. Um, today we really got to get the frog like one taken care of though. This is our S tier, our best permit. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I actually got started on the whole frog light thing a few days ago. Let's go check out down here. That's what this beacon is for. Uh, if you think about it, there's actually quite a few steps to getting frog lights. Like it's not just a quick, simple thing. Um, for starters, we're going to need to get some frogs and frogs. You need a whole ton of slime balls to breed them together, right? Um, and to grow up the babies and stuff. So I figured Let's get started on it early here get a slime farm going <laughs> And that's what this thing is. So we got a slime farm built underneath our base Let's see how we're doing over here. I got an auto crafter hooked up to it. So it's making uh, slime blocks over here and just a simple thing and uh, Yeah, we got quite a bit there. So this is great. Um, we'll take those with us. Let's just check out the slime farm real quick as well. And it's just a bunch of magma blocks on the bottom. I got this idea from Cub. That's how he did his, I think, or something similar. And having the fence in the middle here kills them a lot quicker for some reason. And then we just have a single hopper right in the middle where all the drops get collected together. And then it's eight platforms. I made the platforms the exact size of a water bucket when you drop it down. Oh, I don't have water. But yeah, from here to the four corners, it floods the whole platform so that I can eventually 
add a switch for turning this on and off because it's taking away mob spawns from my creeper farm and our future trident farm we're going to make for gem. I did spend some more time lighting up the caves underneath our base. We're probably at about 90 to 95% of the caves lit up now, and this is the rates we are getting in our creeper farm currently. All right, let's go out and uh, try find some frogs here. i am got to admit, I'm a little worried we aren't going to find any. <laughs> it's going to be a little tricky, maybe. That's Jevin's place, by the way. Azuma's up ahead here. Rendog, Iskel, Vintage Beef up over there. Not the pink house. Not the pink one. We got Hypno up over here. So I've spent a lot of time. Oh, I don't know if Wells has shown that yet. He's building a castle. It's really cool. Um, I've spent a lot of time in the, the mangrove swamp collecting mud. I haven't seen a single frog there for some reason, which is really concerning. I did see some frogs near spawn here, like day two, day three of the server, though. Uh, I think in the swamp. So this might be our best chance. I'm not sure. Do they spawn here even? I thought I saw them here somewhere. Uh, I get so confused because I mostly play my... Oh, there we go. My Let's Play world, right? And uh, no passive mobs spawn there. So it's like, I don't know where these guys come from in the real game. Okay, so that's one, that's two. Okay, great. We can do it. We can make it happen here. So get our slime. Uh, slime balls. You guys want slime balls? Yeah, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. It's been a long time since I did this, since frogs came out. Kind of forgot how to do it. So I think they... What's going on? Oh, I think it happened. I think it happened. Okay, so then they go to the water and lay the eggs, right? There we go. Oh, that took some time. So we capture them, and then we can haul them wherever we want. All right, everybody. Well, we just stopped by our base here again to gather up some supplies to build our frog light farm. We're going to head over to the nether to a basalt delta where the magma cubes spawn, and uh, this kills me. <laughs> you have no idea. I gathered up a bunch of, of glass I was going to sell at the shopping district at the end of this episode, and now I'm using it for our frog light farm. I got hardly any left, uh, so I'm going to have to farm up a bunch more. Uh, anyways, we got rails, and the big thing here, we got a full shulker of the tadpoles. So what I want to do before we head out is just get these guys prepped, ready to grow up into adult froggies. And the way I do that is I throw it in the pond here. I f feed them a full stack of slime balls. And then we capture them again in a bucket. And when I release them the second time here, they will grow up pretty much instantly into a frog. Okay, so he's ready. So once I put him out of the bucket again, within a few seconds, he'll turn into a frog. Check this out. We got ourselves a very nice package delivered to us here from Tango. Oh, yeah. I desperately need iron. So this is wonderful. Thank you, Tango, for that. We also, I forgot to show this the other day, but uh, Doc just came by one day and he gave me Swift Sneak 3 for my pants, <laughs> which is like so awesome. He just like came by one day. He's like, hey, you want some Swift Sneak? I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, Doc always has my back in this game, guys. Let me tell you. You know, he's a tough guy. He's rough, but he's actually very nice. Um, and I talked to him the other day as well. I wanted to get his help with the whole mail system we've been doing. And he agreed to just, like, give us shulker shells for the packages. Like, we want the other hermits to have shulker boxes for sending stuff to each other, right? And, uh, Doc offered to give us to them, but we also wanted to respect the whole hermit permit thing going on. <laughs> so... Well, we figured we better talk to Beef about it first before he just gave them to me. Sweet. I just took a stroll by the shopping district. I couldn't find yeah. a shulker or shop anywhere. It's coming. I already have a design all set up and ready to go. But I need my shulkers now. <laughs> <laughs> I need that's my shulkers why we're here. now. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, Beefy, that's why we're here. Postal service needs shulker boxes. And that's the good business partner I am. You know, wood and stuff, big wood. I'm not going to give them to you without your permission. What do you mean, give them to me? No, him. He needs them. Oh, they need the I see. I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's work something out here. I will, <laughs> I will allow the Postal Service to purchase shelter boxes we have no from money. you, but they have to pay me. We have no money. What? No, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that doesn't sound fair for anybody. <laughs> sure. I have the, the permit. I have the permit. Why I have to farm and he needs to do you so want a mailbox or not? Yeah, I do. 
All right. Uh-huh. Consider okay, this okay, part okay. of the payment okay, okay, okay. then. Come on. 80, 80, 20. 80% to me, 20% to Doc. What if I wanted to give them for free because it's a courtesy of the... Illegal. Staff. I have the permit. Sorry, dog. Uh, <laughs> I, dude, you're, you're going to take mail away from the server because of your oh, selfish greed? What kind of farmer are serious you? serious black Come mail. on, don't do that to me. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. We could come to a, an agreement here, boys. Um, hmm, let me think, let me think. Do you have end rods or anything that I could have? <laughs> do I have end rods? Oh, I put them away. Darn it. I just went end rating. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Do you have bunnies? No. What? I need bunnies. <gasps> hey, wait. And what do I get? I put in all the work. You know how long it took to make the shulker farm already? That's okay. I have the permit. I'm talking to Etho. Etho, listen. <laughs> if you want these shulker boxes, <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna ask me to get you some bunnies, and then I I, I can't get you bunnies because someone else has a bunny permit. No, 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 no. And then no, I got to no, talk to no. them, and then I got to deal no with there them. Are, there's, there's no bunny permit. There's this no bunny getting, permit. This is turning into madness, man. What happened to this no, server? No, there's no, there's no bunny. Why are you writing disappointment? <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> um, okay, 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 fine. You can, you can have Doc can give you those shulkers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Generous. Deal done. <laughs> deal. Deal. Let's let's call it there. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I didn't finish my thought. I just need some end rods for real. Okay, I, I can make that happen. That's it, and then I will allow Doc to give you those shelter boxes for free. You don't have to pay him anything. <laughs> That's a sweet nice deal. You. I know, right? How what nice do you think, Doc? You. And in return, <laughs> yeah, oh. you'll, you'll get a mailbox. Yes! Does Doc have a mailbox Top yet? priority. You'll get top priority. Doc doesn't have Does a Doc mailbox. Have... No. Okay. Oh, I'm going to move 20,000 oh. blocks away in what, no. my mailbox. You could... Also, oh, also my... in return, Doc never gets a mailbox. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never. So, what Doc about gives what you shulkers? Last, he gets it last. I can, I can do that. Fine, fine. Last. Does that sound fair, Doc? That, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> what does Doc get out of this deal? I don't think this is a good the, deal for Doc. The satisfaction of giving you shulkers, of providing shulkers to the male That's people. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's a good reason, Doc. Yeah, Doc, you're a hero. For sacrificing this for for the good the greater good you, of the server. You two are just lucky that this server is PG. All right, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> lucky. You couldn't say no to some friendly Canadians, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh yeah, my friendly We have a deal. Canadian. This is a great deal for, all, for everybody involved. I think this worked now out well. Now I understand well. why the Americans never wanted to enter a trade agreement with you guys. You're terrible. <laughs> Wait, terrible. you don't have a trade agreement with the states? Maybe you got. I don't know. I think we probably I do. I hope we do. I've been doing my taxes <laughs> wrong all this time. Not, not. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? All right. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. Thanks, Doc. Etho, Etho, yeah. Etho, you're leaving disappointment behind. I, that's true because I am a very excited about this deal. I am not disappointed <laughs> at all. This is going to be great for everybody, I think. Mm-hmm. I think I think we worked out a pretty I fair deal was, for all parties involved there, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Doc. No worries. Looking out for the postal <laughs> system. I, I, I appreciate it. So, okay. What... what you know, below the table deal do we make now? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need, Doc? I don't know. I don't know. You owe me a favor, all you right? You saved me a lot of time with this. Uh, that's for sure. I know, I know. But yeah, when the farm is up and running, I mean, it, it's just, yeah. yeah. That stuff is free, pretty much. Um, I don't know what I want in return, man. It's just, it's for the server, right? So it's yeah. for the good of the server. Just uh, make sure to shop a lot of log this season. Oh, yeah, and this, one second. <laughs> <laughs> That's your shulker dispenser? Yes. Oh, I like that. That's really good. Just like what I'm <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's so good. <laughs> so it's time to head into the nether and let's get building our frog light farm. So I decided to do... Uh, my same design from episode 569 of my Let's Play series. It's been working out great, and honestly, I couldn't think of anything I wanted to change with it, so let's just do the same one. All right, well, check it out. It's just about ready. It's a 31 by 31 platform, and in the middle here, we want to get ourselves an iron golem. So the iron golem's going to attract the magma cubes. They're going to see it, and they're going to want to fight it, and then we have this iron bar around it to protect it. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, don't you run away. Don't you run away. No, 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 no. I gotta try to trap him now. Perfect. All right, we got him trapped in the middle. I think the magma cubes are coming over. They're looking at me, though. Okay. 
Uh, what we do, I think, is put iron bars at the four sides. And then all around the iron golem, we also put down eight powdered snow as another way of killing the magma cubes. Kind of... So we got to break them down into their small cubes before uh, the frogs will eat them. We'll have a bucket ready just in case I'm wrong. But it sure should turn into the white frog. There we go. But in order to get the green and the orange frog, we can't get them in the nether. We have to go to another biome. And look at this, everybody. I don't have to move any frogs today. We did find the dream here. So you want to try find a basalt delta connected to a cold biome. So over here is a grove biome. That's a cold one. And then you need a medium temperature one on the other side. So it's forest over here. And then on the in the nether, we have the basalt delta. That's a hot biome. So that will get us all three of the different types of frogs. Because depending on what temperature the biome determines their color. Hopefully this guy grows up. There we go. So there's the green ones over here. Let's get five green guys. And then we'll let them off into the nether here. All right, good stuff. And flip open the doors. There you go, guys. Off you go to your new home. All right, now we're on the fourth side of the portal, and these guys turn into the orange ones. Well, here we go, everybody. We got seven of each of the frogs in here, and we're going to see if this farm works or not. Yeah, now he's hitting them. Okay, good. I was worried uh, he couldn't reach them for some reason. Uh, looks like he can still hit them. They're not hitting him. Good stuff. Frogs are eating the little magma cubes. We're getting tons of frog lights down there. Very good. Very good. So I'll probably have to do the collection system another day, but this is a good start. We'll be able to get some of these for sale. We're going in, everybody. We're going in. I don't have the collection system up yet. I, I got to get them manually. No. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. There's so many magma cubes. Okay, this is getting dangerous. Let me out, let me out. Oh, just just barely made that. It's working pretty good, though. Uh, we could add another ring of powdered snow around this, it looks like. Or we could also add more iron golems in the middle. Oh, that's so satisfying. Look at all the frog lights. Can I buy some pearlescent frog lights? Please? You oh, sure could. Frog lights. Oh, my goodness. How what are we are talking they? price here? I'm thinking yeah. three diamonds per stack for those. Yep. I'll kind buy of a that. specialty I'll buy item. Yellow. Oh boy, they're just I'm gonna take two they're stands. vanishing. False, you want you want some of these? <laughs> well, I'll be over in a minute. Some green, I might get some green stacks. Let's get one more stack. Look at go. this. I don't even have to build a shop. This is insane. <laughs> I and I've <laughs> always said yeah. I've always said that wandering traders suck in Minecraft and I always kill them, but this wandering Wait, trader is quite uh, nice this one's actually. A good one. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. -hmm. <laughs> okay, quiet. <laughs> Careful. I <laughs> can't sword out already. No. <laughs> I'm not really a wandering trader. Boss, build me what a shop, do. please. <laughs> this is nice, though. I like it. <laughs> I like the take. I like the take. I ain't got no blocks on me. I, I don't have the brain have power. This is like the, the last thing I need to do in my episode. I just can't think at this point. <laughs> I'm He's adding some yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm helping you out here. Some oh, I can, I can add got anything, yeah. but add a bit of like, um, you know. Add a bit of gravel. Here. There we go. Okay. A little bit extra like gray okay, concrete, you know. Beautiful. We got some gray coming out here. Nice. That works. Yeah. That works. There I like it. It's nice. And, uh, table. We need some oh, some yawning. <laughs> some yawning cuz I'm I'm tired. Yeah, I don't oh. know. What, oh, Ooh. yawning. Oh, <sighs> That's beautiful. Nico. That's thumb <laughs> thumbnail ready right there. That is thumbnail ready. Look at that. <laughs> no snap. <laughs> what is this thing planted in the floor? It's some wheat. It's decoration. Yeah. <laughs> like the constant sound of the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> the great location. Um... <laughs> did, did you just plugged it down here. No thought process whatsoever. <laughs> it's a temporary shop. I don't have to think, right? <laughs> Or at least not today. I, I just can't do it today. I just got to get something down here. It's really nice. It's really, uh, it's nice. Mm. Okay, though. Look, look, look. Oh snap! That uh? that's a permit. Oh. That's purple glass permit. Check it out. <laughs> it's got <laughs> <these> cups. <laughs> oh yeah. We're to take. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, yeah. okay. What are you thinking here, Iskel? So if you have 51% and I have the permit, who actually owns the permit at that point? I mean, a man <laughs> that wants 51% wants 51%. There's no arguing down to 50 at that point. Um, so I, I'm inclined to take it. Yeah, okay, good. I don't know how to, to deal with that 1% just yet, but I'll... 
I'll talk to somebody. I'm sure we'll work it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk to the people of the shop, you know, the, the talk to the, the bookkeeper and, and, you know, they can talk to my people and then, you know, basically will it will work itself out. I'll talk I'll, to Ren. Uh, it'll get some fax machines involved somewhere in there as well. And uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll be great. <laughs> I'll be impressed if you sell a single stack of purple glass this season. Purple is a better yeah. color, I wow. think, than magenta. Well, magenta is better. <laughs> what? what? I just mm. used the magenta in my build. What? Yeah, she had to farm for days. <laughs> to be fair, it's you are wearing shop. a magenta sweater right now. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, I think I'm on one diamond per stack of andesite. Oh, of andesite. Uh, yeah, I'm going to mm. Or is that too oh, cheap? Wait, it's going, it's like... going faster no, than it should not... be. <laughs> well, oh, no. you want to pull the... <laughs> Enjoy your diamonds, you Ito. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to mine for this stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, everybody, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. I had a ton of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And just to finish things off here, I'm going to include a couple of random clips of hanging out with the hermits. Do I need to prove to you that I know how to use the machine? <laughs> All right, hit the button. It didn't work. Oh, oh, no, oh we got to put something inside. Uh -oh. oh, okay. You looking inside, Scarf? Wait, there's a permit. There's my permit. That's my permit. That's my permit. <laughs> That's my permit. It's gone. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's another lost package. You uh, want some more permits? <laughs> I don't want to take all the blame. No, no. This is my arm, left arm over here, my elbow. Okay. Next to the birch tree. This doesn't make any sense it. to me. I am and I'm standing on your right so elbow now? Right elbow, yeah. And then the mouse. Where's the mouse? My mouse faces the same direction as the keyboard. So if my keyboard's like like up and down like this, my mouse is also up here. and down like this. Dirt dirt is mouse. Place Mouse mouse is lacking blocks. Oh. What what? Yeah. Your mouse is in front? And then the Kleenex keyboard? box. Is like right here. So your mouse is like at some kind of like your forearm is parallel to your keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> and my Artist, mouse. Can you and make a mouse. rendition of this? So for I, me? I use my I mouse. Cannot visualize. I use my this. mouse sideways. I used to do it like that's like that's like mumbo thumb level. Most people loom, put the mouse see. like next to the keyboard like this, right? Up and down. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. You don't strain your wrist as much this way. But Pistons and here is, what, is Etho. Oh my gosh. This is Etho over here. So he's like... What? Are these my Pistons? No. This is Etho over here. <laughs> spinning image. Spinning image. And then monitor up, up where Tree is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the, the crafting bench is your microphone? Microphone, yeah. Here comes trouble. Okay, go on. We're doing oh, an boy. investigation on the server, you know, trying to get to know our hermits better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Some some hermits, you know, they have difficulties in their life. We're trying to, you know, be more mindful of that. Try to accommodate them better. And uh, okay. we... are you left-handed? <laughs> Scar, it's a okay. sensitive issue. You can't just blur it out like that. Am I left-handed in Minecraft or am I left-handed in IRL? Real life. Real life. Real life. I am left-handed in IRL. <gasps> One. <sighs> oh my goodness we, we're here I, to learn how, of your trials how challenging and, has that been yes well interestingly enough i do most things with my right hand though would you it's say you're right. omnidextrous or whatever it's called Omnivore. uh 70 30 probably oh, okay. this sort of split i do the Wait, important we're... stuff with my left hand and the so, rest with the right hand so <laughs> keyboard and stuff you're still wazda <laughs> w-a-s-d yep Where's your mouse? On the right-hand side? Yep. See? Right-hand is mouse. They're just they like us! It. They just... <laughs> <laughs> and until the next one, you take care. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.